Hello, let's continue our advanced Sudoku series with Ripples by Philip Newman. So this is the first puzzle of chapter four of the Sudoku Gospel document. Uh, in the document, this is labeled, So Fishticated, How I Disappointed My Parents by Majoring in Marine Biology. So I think we're going to have uh, some fishy puzzles here. So yeah, as always, I know what technique I'm looking for and how to explain it, but I do not know where exactly it is in this puzzle, so it's a quasi-live solve. There's a link in the description both to the full Sudoku Gospel document as well as specifically to this puzzle, if you'd like to try it first yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Okay, so I think I should do some initial scanning here. So let's figure out what's going on in this puzzle. So there's, two, there's nines looking into this box. So there's a nine in one of these two cells. Um, got two fives looking up, but that's not good enough. Two six, oh, we have all the sixes here. Two sixes here, that doesn't really help me. Um, this middle box, the, I guess we have a bunch of eights looking into this box. So eights in one of those two. We have, a bunch, we have a bunch of nines looking in, so we can actually place a nine. Oh, so we can place the nine and the eight in this box. Nice. Um, anything else? The five? Well, that does put a five in one of these, in one of these two, which puts a five in one of these two. Uh, five, eight, nine. Um, sixes. Eight. Hmm. Okay, I'm not seeing more with that. I do have two sevens here, so sevens down here somewhere. Fives are done. This row, what does this row need? It needs one, two, three, four. Let's fill that out. One, two, three, four. Because they each see one digit. <laughs> um what else do I need going on here? Uh, I've got two nines looking down here, and we know this one's not a nine, so nine's one of these two. Um, nine's one of these two. Hmm. Eights, no. Two? How about this box? This box also needs one, two, three. Oh, it needs one, two, three, nine, not one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, nine. Okay. Hmm. I'm debating if there's any more to find here. This column needs two, three, four, eight. Hmm. That's not super exciting. Okay, so we're gonna try to use set again today. And it is not as obvious to me which set to use, but if I did use these rows, let's make those green. That captures a, quite a few givens. And then I would just want to avoid this block of givens when, um, you know, maybe I should bring in this row as well, because this almost fits that same block of givens. And I can, and I can avoid this block of givens with this missing here by grabbing four columns maybe even five like do i do the rest of the five columns or do i do four columns let's start let's do all five let's do all five columns that aren't part of that block of givens okay so we'll start with this and see what this gets us may or may not be correct so what i've done here is green is four rows so green contains exactly the digits one to nine four times each Purple is five columns, which means purple has one to nine exactly five times each. Um, so what we're going to preserve is the equivalence. So this is set equivalence theory. We're pres preserving the equivalence of purple having exactly one extra set of one to nine. So purple is green plus one set of one to nine. And by removing all of these cells that are both purple and green, I am still preserving that property because I'm removing the same digit from both. So if it's in green, it's not that extra one to nine, and we can remove the same one from purple. And so purple is still the digits in green plus an extra one to nine. And notice that green is just missing a single cell here. So let's see what we can figure out about this. Um, 
eliminating duplicates is going to be the first step. So I've got two nines in purple I can eliminate from green. It doesn't matter which ones I pick at this point. We're just doing equivalencies. It's just a really nice way to, to track things that are the same in both, so you don't have to worry about them anymore. So every time I find a digit, okay, so this is important, but we can't quite do anything with it yet. But we have located a four that's in purple that's not in green. But that could be part of our extra one to nine set. So we'd have to locate another four if we wanted to be able to place a four here, right? Got to be careful. So the eights, we found an equivalent. The nine, uh, we found an equivalent. Uh, one, two, and three. Okay, so this one, two, three, four are going to be our extra one, two, three, four, right? So we still need to locate another one, two, three, four if we were to do that. Now, one thing that we can say is, for example, we've got two fives in green. That means I need to have three fives in purple. Um, I've also got two sixes, which means I need three sixes in purple. So let's count this up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine known digits in green. And purple has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 cells. So 19 cells, if I subtract the nine that are the extra one to nine, then I have 10 cells in purple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, that is going to be equivalent, right? So I need to fit all of these digits into purple along with an extra one of one to nine. And this is whatever is bonus. This is kind of a bonus digit. That's going to be kind of hard to think about. OK, so we got to think very carefully here. Um, how do we express what we need to do here? All right, I've got two fives. We can at least express that. So I need three fives in purple. And these purples can't be five. And these purples can't be five. So let's highlight all the, the purples that can be five. That's that's any of these can be five. Let's make that yellow for a second just so it stands out. So five, we need to put three fives into yellow. Um, okay. So we're either going to have fives in all these yellows, or we're going to have a five here. And then we're still going to end up with fives in somewhere in here, right? But either way, this cell can't be five. I guess that doesn't matter because this is already not five. So that's a very bad example. Is there anything else I can do here? Um, is there? Okay, I've got three sevens. Maybe that's more more useful. Let's start with the one we have the most of. So I have three sevens in green, which means I need four sevens in purple. Now, what do I know about what can't be seven? Those can't be seven. So let's make those yellow. This is where seven, these can't be seven. Um, I think that's it. So we need to, we need to cram four sevens in the yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Um, so. I could do these four rows, or I could do this one. Hmm, is that important? That would mean, yeah. So I think we can do some eliminations here using a kind of a thinned fish style elimination here. So let's think about this a little bit. I need four sevens in yellow. So ignoring this cell here, if we just say, well, seven couldn't be here. Actually, we can, we can say something interesting here, which is imagine if these both weren't seven. Is that? Actually, that still works, doesn't it? One, two, three, four. OK, let's do this a different way then. I Sorry, I thought that was going to do something more interesting. Um, yeah, I don't see how that would do anything interesting. Okay, sorry. Uh, so let's say, let's say seven was not in this yellow cell. If seven was not in this yellow cell, then I get seven 
I, I have to put a seven here. Uh, ba basically, I've got I've got four rows left, right? That I can put sevens in. So the sevens would end up in the somewhere in these rows, in these yellow cells, which would mean that none of these could be seven. I mean, already these couldn't be seven. Already these can be seven. Already these can be seven. So the important bit is these four cells could not be seven. Hmm, that doesn't actually help me, does it? Okay, maybe I don't do that then. What am I thinking about then? Uh, I thought that was going to do something. Maybe it was the... I would need to be able to cover with four columns. Hmm. One of these two. Can I get rid of both of these and still put enough sevens in? Looks like I could. Okay, I'm clearly not uh, clearly not understanding what to do with this information. Um, it feels intentional, but I'm not quite getting it yet. So let's keep looking. Um, what can we do here? I need three sixes, four. So I need three fives, three sixes. Four sevens, three eights, and whatever this is. Okay. Um, that affects these cells. This is kind of interesting. So here's my argument here. Um, yeah, the, let's look at these two cells here. What can these be? The important thing I want to point out is that whatever this blue cell is, they can't be blue because they share a box with blue. So wherever blue ends up in purple, it's going to actually be in purple maybe twice. But anyway, whatever blue ends up being, it's going to go in purple, but it's not going to go in purple here. That's, a, that's an important deduction. The other important deduction is that I have my 1 to 4, and I don't get... Uh, even if this was a 1 to 4, these still can't be another 1 to 4, right? Because of what I just said. Even if this was from 1, 2, 3, 4, I still can't put 1 to 4 in here because the only 1 to 4 I could put in here would be whatever blue is, but blue is eliminated from these. I hope I'm making sense there. So the important thing is that these actually have to be from 5, 6, 7, 8 only. Because they have to come, they can't be, um, let, me, let me put it this way, these can't be from the bonus 1 to 9. Sorry, these can't be from the bonus 1 to 4, right? We have a bonus 1 to 9. They can't be 1 to 4 from our bonus 1 to 4. That makes sense? We have our bonus 1 to 4 already. Or these are blue. But even if these were blue, I still can't put blue here. So these are not 1 to 4. That, that is the conclusion. These are not from 1 to 4. If I try to put, say, a 1 here, the question I want to answer is, well, now I have two 1s in purple. So only one of those 1s is our bonus 1. The other one has to go in green. Where can I put it in green? Well, it can't go in the blue cell, and it doesn't go in any of these. So I actually can't put a 1 here, right? So these are not from 1, 2, 3, 4. These are from 5, 6, 7 only. And that actually places the 7 and the 6. So now I have I have a bonus seven six maybe I I don't know what to do with that yet but that felt like that was very important so let's see what we can actually do with Sudoku now um, I have these sixes looking over so six is one of these two um, the seven does the seven do anything I mean we could look at this column this column needs one two three four that's not from one two that's not one. So, okay, now this is important. I got a 3-4 in purple. That, that's a bonus 3-4. Where does it go in green? It has to go here. This has to be 3-4. And now these are the equivalent. So we can just remove them from my set. And now I have like a perfect green set here. So I know exactly what needs to go in purple. Purple needs 1 to 4. This is cool. Purple, purple needs 1 to 4. Um... Sorry, it needs an extra 1 to 9, plus exactly what's in green. 
uh, we can, but we already have the one, two, three, four part of the bonus because we now know that these are bonus digits. And so, because these are bonus digits, the remaining purple cells can only be from five, six, seven, eight. We can clean that up quite a bit. That gets us this five and this seven. That's not five or seven. That's not six or seven. That's not six or seven. Five, eight pair. Ooh, I broke something. So, what's wrong with my logic? <laughs> Let's go back to here. I feel like my logic was sound. Okay, so I remove whatever this is. Oh, these don't actually have to be the same, do they? Well, no, they do, because this is the bonus. We have two of three, four now. One of three or four is doubled up in purple. That has to go here. So this is, this is our doubled up cell. So yeah, that's removed. And then now, because I have my bonus one to four, oh, these can be from nine as well. That's the important bit. Okay. Wait, no, but there is no nine in green. They cannot be from nine. They have to be from five, six, seven, eight. So what did I do wrong here? These both end up seven is the issue. Because this can't be six, seven, or eight. So that ends up five, that ends up seven. This ends up a five, eight pair, and this has no value. So I made some kind of logical leap. Maybe with this six, seven. Let's go back to the six, seven. I felt like that was good, but let's look at it again. So I already have my bonus one, two, three, four in purple. So this can't be from one, two, three, four, because it would have to go here too. So these are these are from five, six, seven, eight, because they have to come from the green cells, but they aren't eight or nine. So these are these are from five, six, seven. They're not five either. So the six, this ends up seven and six. That feels right to me. And then I, then I penciled this column and I saw it was from 1, 2, 3, 4. And now this is a 3 or a 4. It's the bonus 3, 4. It has to go in blue. I'm getting the same result. And then now I already have my bonus 1 through 4. I need a bonus 9 somewhere. That's the issue. I don't know where my bonus 9 goes. Okay, so I do need to include 9 in purple because there is a bonus 9 I haven't accounted for. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. I also need a bonus 5, but the 5 is already in green, right? So I need 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This still has to be 5. This still has to be 7. This can be 8, but now, now we found our 9. This is 5 and 9. So that's our bonus 9. We don't get any more 9s in purple. Um, we can clean this up a bit. That's not a 9. That's not a 5. We can place the 5 here. That's not an 8. That's not a 9. This is a 7. These are not 5 or 7. That's not a 9. Uh, that places the 9 here. That's not a 7. Okay. Cool. Do I want I to... I can start... Yeah, let's, let's just deal with our set here. I've got a bunch of 7s I can remove. I've got these 6s. These 6 I can remove. Uh, the 5s I can remove. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what am I doing? Purple. One, two, three, four, five, and nine are accounted for in purple. Maybe I should have removed the extra set instead of. Oh well. Um. So, I need another five. I need another six. Do I need another set? I need another seven in purple. Yeah, because I, I. Oh wait, I have this seven. Okay. Oh, and I've got a 6-8 pair here. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is my bonus. This is my bonus 1 to 9, which I can remove now. That's great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now they're equivalent sets. I need 5, 6, 7, 8 in here. This is a 5, 6, 7, 8 quadruple, which is pretty fun. Uh, that means 5 is one of these two. It means 7 is one of these two. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if that's needed, but it's fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, this row maybe needs one, two, and four. Okay, that's not a one. So the one goes here. This box needs a two, four, and six. So a two, that's not six. I have the six, eight pair, so that's a four. Two and six, that's a three. That's not three or four. That's not four. This is an eight and a six. We found our eight. We found our seven. We found our five. We found our six. Perfect. It did end up one of each. So our set is done. Very nice. That's not an eight. And I think it's probably just going to be singles from here. Um, 
We have one, two, we need three, four, and six here. Uh, the six only goes here, and then we're left with a three, four pair. Oh, this can't be four. So that's three. That's four. We get the three. We get the eight. We get a deet, deet, doot in the corner. That's one. We get the two, the three, one, and nine here. I think the nine was cornered there for a while. That's four and two. That's three. Uh, that's not a one. This is two or four. That is a one. Okay, we can clean these up. All right, S simple from here. Okay, five, uh, one, two, we need a three. Two and four, that's two, that's four. Uh, we get the two and the four here, the four and the two here. We get the one. It's just about plonking digits at this point. We need a two. We need a seven. Over here, we need a one. And we need a four. One, two, we need a three. And we need a seven. Over here, we need a, what is it, a four. And then here, we need two. And we're down to one and three. And we're done. Nice. Well, that was that was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, I know Philip has done similar things in the past, which is why I kind of thought I knew what to do with the set. Um, I think you can get the same logic from finned fish, but I think that would be pretty hard to see. Um, using the set view of this really, really made this um, clean. Once I once I knew what to think about. And also finding the set actually wasn't very hard. My first try, I found the set. and Because you, you can kind of see the cluster of givens that he kind of intended here, right? He made these clusters of givens in this one as well, right? This is the cluster of givens that looks important, um, which is really good telegraphing for set. It's really hard to telegraph set, um, but this is good telegraphing for it. We're just missing this. This is our fin for our set. It's kind of, Philip calls it a fin to set. Um, and so in order to keep these around, what we needed to do was we needed to build this equivalent down here, All right? So cool. Um, that was neat. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as well. I really did. That was fun. Um, and if you did, then why don't leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.